Okay, the NRL Integrity Unit is investigating Valentine Holmes for that Instagram post. Now, the, the footage, um, he, he's well, he's been stupid and he's doubled down, so you can't teach stupid. And I have, no, I have no sympathy for Valentine Holmes in this one. The photo is him holding a can of drink. We'll assume it's a rum and coke, because there's a few brands of, like, band, you know, rum, rum and coke, things like that. And a bag of suspicious white powder, which we'll assume to be cocaine, because we're all adults in the room here. Let's not skirt around the issue. Now, the official term is, it's a bag of white powder. It, it, it's cocaine. Come on. Let, let's be adults. Yeah, we can talk about it like adults. The problem is, uh, he's stupid enough to do it in the first place, and then he's even more stupid to advertise his stupidity by posting it on social media. Now, he's taken down the post within three hours. However, smart people, of which there are many, many, have, have now circulated over the internet, um, have done a screenshot. It is now circulating. He cannot get away from it. So, while he's got rid of his, his end on his Instagram, panicked, got rid of it, he's already being investigated by his club, the, the Cowboys, and now he's being investigated by the league. This comes at a really bad time for the NRL. Firstly, the finals has just started. Secondly, they're trying to compete for the domestic and international TV audience with the Rugby World Cup. And I've been watching more of the Rugby World Cup. Not going to lie, it's an international tournament. I, I love my international rugby union. And thirdly, next year, the NRL takes its first ever games to Las Vegas. And there's a concern with some that the players in Vegas will misbehave. They can't even behave when they're at home. I'm sorry, they can't even behave at home. This is not an isolated incident. This is a recurring theme. You know, Reese Walsh. We've had Cameron Munster and, and Brandon Smith in the hotel room on video doing exactly the same thing a couple of years ago. Uh, we've, we've had, uh, over in England, players fail drugs tests with it in their system. Zach Hardacre. I'm just going to use him as the example because he, he really is the brain-dead one out of the group. We, we've had Sean Kenny Dow call outside, you know, a nightclub with it in his pocket. We've it, it, The list goes on. Proctor and Bromwich, the list goes on. These are high-level professionals. These, these are not run-of-the-mill players who are bit part players. These are all regular performers week in, week out. Right, they're selected week in, week out. They played International Rugby League. They played Grand Finals. They, they played Origin level. Uh, you know, they, they've won Challenge Cup. The whole lot. These are successful players. These are good players. These are role models. And in Valentine Holmes's case, because of his his background, he's a role model for Indigenous and Pacific Island youth, uh, a, a, a demographic of a society in Australia that is unfortunately more likely to slip into drink and drugs and crime. And he's really let that community down. He's let the community of Townsville down, North Queensland down, the club. And he's let, he's let the league down, his teammates and himself. But this is the problem. There is clearly a drug use issue in the NRL and the Super League. But in this case, the NRL. And the NRL, I don't think, I think the NRL integrity unit needs to come down harder with suspensions. But also, when they're suspending these players, put them in rehab. They've got enough money, put them in rehab. Put the players in rehab. Take the players down to a rehabilitation facility as part of their pre-season and show them what a... a a, drug, a proper full-blown cocaine or heroin or, or ketamine drug addict looks a hollowed out individual sit show them what a crackhead looks like who's who's in in, in rehab or is it dying in hospital i think that might start changing some some minds here but australia as a as a wider nation does have a social issue with recreational drug use rising now we can argue the pros and cons of legalization decriminalization personal use should should recreational drugs be on the ban list? He hasn't been caught by the test as he's been caught by his own stupidity. So what are your thoughts on the Valentine Home situation? Well, you know, this overshadows the NRL finals, which you know, have been fantastic so far. The NRL is trying to, and, and Rugby League is trying to, as a whole, is trying to gain a, a wider TV audience globally. Of course, they're competing against the Rugby World Cup right now, um, which is going to clearly dominate the news headlines, both domestically in Australia and, and overseas. And they're going to Vegas next year. They want to grow the brand, grow the product. And they are concerned about players misbehaving. In this case, Valentine Holmes has been a bit of a moron. He's been stupid. And then he's doubled down on his stupidity. Going, I'll double down and put it on social media. If you're going to misbehave, don't advertise it. That's what I was always told. If you're going to be stupid, don't advertise it. Don't get caught. That's what I was always taught. <laughs> My old man goes, don't be a dick. But if you are going to be a dick, don't get caught. Me mum. You're going to be an idiot. 
be an idiot. But don't get caught. So he's decided, I'll make it easy for him. I'll get caught. So I make it, what's your thoughts on Valentine Holmes? I mean, and what's your thoughts on the wider issue within rugby league and within professional sport of recreational drug use? And we're talking about the class A's, the scheduled ones. We're not talking about cannabis here. That debate is a slightly separate debate. We're talking about the harder drugs like crack, cocaine, heroin, um, other scheduled amphetamines, barbiturates. We're talking about the scheduled one, class A's or sh scheduled two class b kind of level but the stronger ones that should be a class a what what's what's your thoughts because i'm interested to see what the feedback is on valentine holmes being an absolute dick anyway thank you very much for from me normally i don't rant so much but when it's when it's a, a sport i love and a league i love and it's and it's a really good star player who's got uh, you know who fans especially young fans adore as a superhero and he does something like that i lose my shit so what's your thoughts? I'm going to kill that for now. We'll have obviously all the Rugby World Cup match reviews today. But for me for now, it is goodbye.